Katie here and I wanted to share something really quick with you. I wanted to share um, something that you know that might help you. Uh, I just wanted to you know to uh, to share what I've discovered and what I think might help you in in your life and um, we were just uh, listening to to a preach that this guy was preaching about Noah's Ark and about Noah how um, God told him to uh, to build an ark and uh, so you know he told him that there's gonna be a flood so he would build an ark and uh, save his family from the flood and Noah believed God and started building the ark but um, you know Noah had relatives you know Noah had um, parents sisters brothers who did not believe him they they thought you know uh, they thought Noah is crazy so, um, you know, I just wanted to, but Noah, you know, Noah didn't care. He believed God. He believed that there is going to be flawed and he just, you know, he didn't listen to anybody. He didn't care that people thought that he was crazy. He just, um, he just, uh, you know, he was still continuing building the ark and, you know, with his, his faith saved him because of that he believed what God told him, it saved him. So I just wanted to, you know, kind of compare it to maybe your life right now. Maybe you're um, starting a business or you're planning to start and you, t you told your family, you told your relatives and your friends about it. You believe you can succeed with this business, but, um, you know, nobody, nobody's listening to you and they think you're crazy, you know? <laughs> So I just wanted to say that, you know, if you have faith that you're going to succeed, if you have faith that that's what's going to help out your life, you know, that's what's going to solve your problems and, and you share it with people and they don't believe you, they, they think you, you know, you're, you're just saying nonsense and they, they don't, pretty much they think you're crazy, you know, <laughs> um, just, you know, just believe and just have faith uh, and don't let you know other people to break your faith don't let other people steal your faith and steal your dreams and also I wanted to say you know in in any situation in your in your life you can um, just remind yourself of Noah's example and have that faith don't let anybody break your faith because faith can move mountains um, like from my life, uh, I've been, you know, I remember so many times when, when, uh, there was miracles, like I had miracles because of faith, because God gave me the faith and I could believe in, you know, different situations. And, you know, I, I've had checks come to my mail, uh, when we were really short on money and we didn't have enough money to pay for our bills. And I just, you know, just prayed. I was just on my way walking to uh, check the mail. And I just prayed, you know, so God would help us. And so there would be a check in the mailbox. And I believed with all my heart, like with how much I could. And there I opened the mailbox and there was a check. And that check was like, I don't even remember like where it came from. And I was just... I was so happy and I was excited and like it's a miracle I really believe it, it's been a miracle like it's we weren't expecting any checks from anybody it was just a miracle that God sent um, you know that check to us and I can remember a lot of stories that uh, happened in my life because of faith because um, you know God sent me faith sometimes we don't have faith and when we don't have faith we need to pray so God would give us that faith because sometimes it's really hard for us to to believe in something. So, you know, what I would say, I would just say, just just pray. So God would give you that faith, uh, a strong faith that would cause miracles to happen. So that's all what I want to, you know, to share with you. You know, I hope it helps you in your life, in your um, situation, in your life. And I hope, you know, I hope it just helps you helps your faith to become become stronger and 
that's pretty much it and i'll talk to you later then bye